afternoon for a weekly update this week. I just want to share the Christmas story with you out of Luke 2. And it said, And there were shepherds living in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. This day in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to men. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about the child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things in her heart and pondered them. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just in what they'd been told. And so that's the Christmas story. And of course, this season, that's our focus and our emphasis for Christmas is to celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so I just want to say to you today, I'm thankful that Christ came and was born, became our Savior, died on the cross, and rose again so that He could become our Lord also. So if you haven't accepted Christ as the Lord, I just want to encourage you to do that today. Let's pray. Father, we just come before you today and we just lift up your name, Lord. Father, I thank you so much for this season and for what it means, Lord. I thank you that you're Lord and Savior in my life and many here, Father. I pray for those who don't know you, Lord, that they would accept you as their Lord and Savior. Father, I pray continued protection over our staff, over our families, physically, spiritually, emotionally, financially, Lord. And I pray for a great Christmas season, Lord. I pray uh, safety for travel for those families who are traveling, Lord, that you just surround them with your angels and keep them safe and bring them back to us in January, Lord. And we give you honor, glory, and praise and pray this in your son's name. Amen. Warriors, I will see you the first week of January. God bless you.